we are going to study about the types of control systems. There are two types of control systems, open loop control systems and closed loop control systems. In open loop control systems, the output it is directly controlled by the input. So we can say that any system which is not having the feedback structure then it will be a open loop control system. That is why the open loop control systems they are also known as non-feedback systems. Let's take an example to illustrate the open loop control systems. This example is about the speed control of an automobile. So you can see that the input to this system is the desired speed. Desired speed means the speed which we want. There is a controller and then engine of the automobile and the output of the engine or the system is the actual speed. So in this open loop system there is no way in which the actual speed is controlled automatically. Okay so the actual speed it may be far away from the desired speed that is the automobile when it is uh, running on the road and then the speed which we are getting it may be different from the our desired speed so there may be a controller which is attached in it and it is working on the engine so the speed which we want maybe we don't get it as an output so this is an open loop system okay and there is no feedback structure in this system so that we can have an interpret of the actual speed and we can make it close to the desired speed so this is an example of an open loop control system now if we draw the generalized block diagram of an open loop control system then how it will be this is let's compare it with our example this is our input this is our controller the output of the controller is the control input now this control input it is given to the system and 
on this system there may be some disturbances which are acting on it if the disturbances they are produced inside the system then they will be called internal disturbances and there might be disturbances which are due to the external environment so that those disturbances are known as external disturbances so we are having a input which is known as the disturbance input now the signal which is coming out of the system it is called the output of the system so this is the way in which we can represent a generalized open loop control system Now let's see some examples of open loop control system. Let's take examples from which we see in our daily life. Okay. So the first example of open loop control system is the electric iron which we see in our remember that this electric iron is not that automatic electric iron this is the simple electric iron the input to which it is uh, the power supply and uh, the power supply it is connected to the electric iron and the output of the electric iron is the heat so it is the open loop control system second example is electric fan water tank in water tanks the input is the water which is getting stored in the tank and the output is also the water now the wa water tanks when they are filled up to the upper level then there is no phenomena or there is no process in that that we can get an indication that the water tank is full so these are the ordinary water tanks the next example of open loop control system is immersion heater in immersion heater also there the output is the heating of the element and there is no mechanism we just apply the power supply and the heater it gets heated up and there is no mechanism that when it has attained the maximum temperature then the power supply should be switched off so this is an example of an open loop control system so we have studied the definition of open loop control system and we have the drawn the generalized block diagram of the open loop control system and then we studied few examples on it now let's study the second type of control system which is the closed loop control system In closed loop control system the output has an effect on the control action of the input that is in the control closed loop control systems the output it is feedback to the input that is why the closed loop control system they are also known as the feedback systems now 
to get an example of the closed loop control system let's take the earlier example which we have taken for the open loop uh, control system so let's draw the diagram for it So in this example, the input is the desired speed and this input, it is given to the controller and the controller, it gives us the control input and this control input, it is given to the engine and engine gives us the output as the actual speed. Now this speed, it is feedback to the input by the speed sensor. The speed sensor, it senses the speed, actual speed and a comparison is made between the desired speed and the actual speed. If the actual speed, it is less than the desired speed, then the according to that manipulations are done so that the controller, it will do some control action on the engine so that we get the desired speed as the output now this speed sensor it feedbacks the actual speed to the driver's eye and the brain system the driver looks that what speed he wants and what he is actually getting so the brain system and the driver's eye they are using this actual speed and comparing it with the desired speed Now, when the driver, he has made the comparison between the actual speed and the desired speed, then he will do some control action on it and this control action will be done by the combination of the leg muscles of the driver and the pedal accelerator. So the driver, he will sub do some changes on the leg muscles and the x-ray. He will either press it more or release it, the accelerator pedal, so that the speed will be changed. And then that manipulations will be done on the engine and we will get the desired output. So this is the example of the speed control of an automobile or we can say that it is an example of a closed loop control system where the output it is feedback to the input. Now let's represent the closed loop control system in a generalized way. So this is the way in which we can represent a general closed loop control system. We have an input and this input it is applied to the comparator which compares the input with the feedback 
signal and according to that it gives the input to the controller now the controller it does some control action on the input and gives the output as the control input this control input it is given to the system and the system gives us the output now the output which we get it is feedback to the measurement device or it is measured by this device and this device will give the output as a feedback signal to the comparator again the comparison is made and according to the input the output will be changed now there are also some disturbances which are acting on the system so they are represented by the disturbance these disturbances can be noise or unwanted signals which we don't want in our system so this is the general block diagram of a closed loop control system now let's see some examples of closed loop control system first example is voltage stabilizers voltage stabilizers are used in houses of many of us so the voltage stabilizers the first example of closed loop control system is voltage stabilizers in voltage stabilizers the voltage it is regulated that is how much voltage the device is needed that voltage will be provided by the uh, instrument voltage stabilizer okay so the output it is controlled by the input the next example of closed loop control system is automatic electric iron in automatic electric iron the temperature which we want we can change it by moving the knob so in this way we are adjusting the temperature of the electric iron so the desired temperature which we are wanting that is provided by the device so this is an example of a closed loop control system next example is water tanks with float ball the ordinary water tanks we have seen that they are example of the open loop closed system so open loop control system because in those systems there is no process or no mechanism was present there that when the water tank is filled how we are going to get that information so in water tanks which are having the float ball the when the water tank it is completely fill then the float ball it cuts the supply of water into the water tank okay so there is no wastage of water these water tanks having the float ball they are an example of closed loop control system so these were the examples of the closed loop control system in this video we have studied about the open loop uh, control systems and closed loop control system we have represented these systems as a general block diagram and then we have seen some examples of open loop and closed loop control systems so i hope that you have clearly understood the topic thank you